this is Zelda. She is nine weeks old. She's the newest member of our family. So meet Zelda Morse. I love her. She's so cute. She's a little chaotic and she meows a lot. So if you hear little bell toys, little cat toys in the background, or maybe some cat meowing, that's her. I'm not gonna stop her. I'm allowing her to run around and get used to the new household that she's in so that she can get acclimated and comfortable. And don't worry, the house is very kitten proof. All right, look, I am not saying that I have entered my gadget gremlin era, but I did just spend the last couple of months wearing sleep rings, sleeping with a smart ring on, and not just any ring. This one is actually, I'm trying not to flick anybody off. This is the Ultra Human Ring Air, and it promises to be the world's most comfortable sleep tracker. But the question is, does it, oh my God, does it actually work? <laughs> Maybe having a kitten in the studio is a bad idea. I feel like I'm not gonna get any work done if she in here. So the question is, does it actually work? Is it worth the $349 price tag? And can a ring this small actually help you sleep better and actually help you boost your productivity and track your body's stress or recovery? So let's go ahead and dive into it. But first I have a limited time deal for the Ultra Human Ring Air. From June 16th through June 30th, get 15% off via my code and my link. We'll insert the code and the link here. Now, if you miss this deal, you can still get 10% off. Just use my link to snag one of these at ultrahuman.com slash Shannon Morse with my discount code Shannon Morse 10 for 10% off, which equates to like $40 off one of these suckers. So it's a pretty sweet discount at the end of the day. Now, what's up, s'mores? I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you are new. Ultra Human did send over this ring for my review and my testing. So thank you so much to Ultra Human for sending it over. Now in the box, you will find the Ring Air nestled in a sleek little casing, a USB-C charging dock, a cable, and a quick start guide. There's also a new $45 Voyager charger, which I'll talk about more in the battery section, though that accessory is a separate purchase. It does not come in this box. Now this thing is ridiculously lightweight, especially compared to a two pound kitten. Oh my gosh, this thing is so tiny and lightweight. It's like 2.4 grams light. That's 11 times lighter than a smartwatch. Sometimes I forget that I'm even wearing it half the time, except when I'm washing dishes or I'm using my hair straightener. Basically, if I'm banging this thing against other surfaces, it is going to be more noticeable. Now, if you're finding this video helpful, a subscribe would mean so much to me. Subscribing is totally free and it helps more of my videos pop up in your YouTube feed. A lot of people show up in my comments and say, oh my gosh, I didn't know you were still doing YouTube videos. I've been subscribed for 10 years. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, YouTube for some reason stopped showing you my videos. So hit subscribe, hit the little notification bell icon down below, and that will ensure that you see my videos more often. Unsponsored videos like this one are free to watch thanks to my Patreon supporters, my s'mores, and my Patreon and YouTube channel members. So a big Patreon shout out to my newest s'more, which is a Darlo F or Darloaf. You can join them and support my channel by going to patreon.com slash Shannon Moore for perks like early video access and my private discord. I also do a live stream every month. That's fun too. Thank you so much to my YouTube members and patrons for making this video possible. Let's go ahead and move on to the colors. Now this thing comes in several different colors and I actually have some samples here. There are raw titanium. There is Aster Black, which is the one I have. There's matte gray, bionic gold, and space silver. Now this is the sample kit that you can order to figure out which size you actually are and the sample kit comes with all these different colored samples. So you can kind of see which color will match your skin tone best. I really like that they include this and I love that there's so many different color options. Now I went with this pretty aster black mainly so I can tell it apart from my other smart rings since I'm <laughs> reviewing a few of them right now, but I do like the black color. It's very shiny though wearing it for so long, it does have some marks and some scuffs from normal wear and tear though the internals have absolutely no sign of aging. So this is actually made from fighter jet grade titanium 
titanium, so it's tough, but the inside is this medical grade hypoallergenic resin. The translation here means you won't get weird green finger situations, like finger getting irritated. Now it also doesn't cause a lot of irritation to my skin, especially if I'm wearing it day in and day out. Though I do find that I need to remove it if I get sweaty and like my skin temperature is higher. Like if I'm just going to the gym and working out for a long time, cause that perspiration does seem to cause some irritation. And that goes for all smart rings that I have tested too. So maybe this is just a me thing. Okay, but let's get into the main event, which is the sleep tracking. This is really cool. So every single morning, the Ultra Human app will give you a sleep score out of 100, which is based on your time in REM, light and deep sleep, plus 11 different sleep contributors, things like how long it took you to fall asleep, how restful you were, how much your heart rate dropped overnight, and even how much you tossed and turned. So I will show you my app on the screen, be very transparent here. If we look at my sleep scores, I'm usually in between 80 and 90, which is pretty darn good. I sleep really well, especially when I'm at home. We have a very comfortable mattress. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. It shows me how long I've slept, how restful I was, how fast my heart rate dropped into sleep patterns. And it also tracks my heart rate as I sleep. Now, one of the things that does bother me when I sleep is if a smart ring has some kind of blinky LEDs inside of it, this one does have some LEDs and very rarely do they actually bother me while I'm sleeping and the ring is near my face. Luckily, it's not a very common problem, especially if you get a ring that is the correct size. Now, what I love is that it doesn't just dump the data on you and leave you hanging. The app actually gives you nudges via notifications throughout the day and it'll tell you things like, you should skip that 3 p.m. latte today, or maybe try winding down a little earlier tonight. It's kind of like having this friendly sleep coach who lives on your phone and is not as annoying as the fairy Navi from Zelda. <laughs> I'm in a very Zelda mood today. It's probably because my kitten's name is Zelda. And the Nintendo Switch 2 just came out and I don't have one. If anybody was able to score an extra, let me know. I really wanna get one at MSRP retail rates and I haven't gotten one yet. Anyway, tangent aside, the little notifications will tell you when your caffeine window is coming to a close and based on your normal sleep patterns, it's going to recommend when you should start winding down for the night. It also has a section showing your circadian rhythm and when light exposure can have an impact on your sleep. But besides sleep, it's tracking your HRV, your resting heart rate, skin temperature 24 seven. The last one is kind of underrated too. your skin temperature can actually be an early early warning sign for illness or stresses or hormonal changes. It also has a feature called stress rhythm, which uses your heart rate, HRV and circadian rhythm to tell if you are stimulated, relaxed or stressed. And it's kind of wild to me that I adopted this kitten on a Thursday. You'll see this here on my screen. And the ring actually shows my stress score. Eight week old kitten, didn't know I was gonna take her home the same day that I was applying to adopt her, kitten proofing the house, running around to different stores to get like cat food and make sure we have enough litter for her litter box. So I'm excited. It makes sense. I was I was kind of like high, highly stressed that day and also very excited. But then once we got in the kitten all set and ready to go in our home over the weekend, my score increased dramatically two days later on the weekend. So you can totally see how stressed out I get during during the week too, when I'm working compared to the weekends, it's this clear cycle of like being stressed out when I'm supposed to be getting videos done. And then I'm like, ah, stress free on the weekends. I can go to the Renaissance Fair, yay. By the way, if you are going to the Colorado Renaissance Fair this summer, I will be there like every single weekend. So if you happen to see this weirdly dressed up character, who's following the themes for each weekend at the Ren Fair, that'll be me, I will be there. Hope to see you there. Say hello if you happen to pass me by. The dynamic recovery score is my new favorite obsession when it comes to this app. It uses biomarkers like HRV and temperature and sleep quality to tell you how recovered your body is. It's kind of like a readiness score, but it's a little bit less intimidating and more helpful. Now each part of this recovery score is listed out. It gives you notes too, so you know where you need to focus attention. Also, I had mentioned that caffeine window thing, but they 
they do have other data sets too. Ultra Humans suggest personalized tweaks throughout your day to boost productivity. Like, do you want to know the best time to have caffeine so that you don't mess up your sleep? It's got a caffeine window. The vitamin D exposure, it tells you when to go outside. Screen time too late, it will kind of call you out very gently though, very nicely. Now, a lot of these options are add-on app features. These are called power plugs. They're mostly free, but they can drain your battery faster. So keep that in mind. Honestly, this kind of feels like biohacking light without surgically installing an NFC chip in your hand like some of my friends have done. I'm totally serious when I say that too. I have friends that unlock their door with their palm. It's the craziest thing. I'm totally here for it. It's really cool. In terms of battery life, I put both my Samsung Galaxy Ring and my Ultra Human Ring Air on at 1 p.m. at 100% battery on, what day was that? 429. And the Ultra Human was down to 7% on May 4th at 11.30 a.m. So that is about five days. The Samsung Galaxy Ring was at 9%, same day and time. So just a 2% difference there. So I would say the battery life is solid at about four to six days on a full charge, kind of depending on like how many power plugs you install, if you have notifications on, things of that nature. It does include a charger in the box, but it's not as nice as the one that comes with the Galaxy Ring. For example, there's no lid, there's no built-in battery, so you have to plug it into a USB-C in order to charge your ring every single time, and I do find that kind of annoying. Now that new Voyager charger, not entirely clear on their website how it works, but it also does not have a built-in battery, and I had to go to like Reddit to figure this out. I don't really see the point of this new charger, to be honest. I would totally buy one that did have a built-in battery, so I could just throw it in my purse. A lid would be really nice though to keep the ring on the charger if it gets jostled sold around. Just a heads up, it takes about 90 minutes to two hours to charge from zero to 100%. So plan accordingly. Don't be like me and forget to charge it like right before you're getting on a plane. Optionally, the Ultra Human Ring Air tracks your cycle and your ovulation using skim temperature and HRV, and it shows a seven day fertility window. There's also a pregnancy insights tool that you can install that tracks trimester trends and shows how your health metrics will shift week to week. Now, personally, those are data trackers that I do not use and I will never set up. I also recommend that people in my audience who are interested in this kind of tracking, look up how this data could be used against you and your privacy. <laughs> not getting political there, but you, if you know, you know. Ultra Human includes science-backed coaching with real ACSM certified performance coaches, and it's included in the price. I was expecting this to be a pay extra kind of situation, but no, it's a part of the deal. That's pretty cool. There's also no subscription fee to use the basic service and the ring. This is a one and done type of situation here, unless you use one of the add-on services like power plugs for cardio or AFib detection. Those two do cost more. Now, according to the app, new power plugs to track your travel jet lag and weight loss will be added soon, but we have no idea when soon is going to be. The UI is super clean and while it does give you a lot of data, it is broken down into digestible daily reports. Plus firmware updates are automatic and it supports iOS and Android. Now, Ultra Human to me is not just a ring, it's this entire ecosystem too, because you can pair it with the Ultra Human M1 for glucose tracking. There's this blood vision for lab markers and even this new Ultra Human home device, which monitors your environment. I don't know if I need all that monitoring myself, but those are options if you do. It is Bluetooth low energy, EMF safe, and compatible with iPhones running iOS 15 or later in Android 6 and up. So who is this for? Well, if you care about your sleep, recovery, and productivity, and you don't want to wear a bulky smartwatch to bed, then this is probably for you. It's also a huge win if you are already tracking your health data and you want even more context for making lifestyle tweaks. And the nice thing is, you got 10 fingers. So if you want to wear a bunch of different smart rings and try them all and use all the different apps for all the different features, because in my opinion, this is the best one for sleep, for example, but you might find that the Aura ring or the Samsung Galaxy ring or one of the other rings might be better for some of the other trackers, then you can wear more than one. <laughs> you aren't just stuck with two like you are with smartwatches. So that being said, if you want basic step tracking and notifications, it might be overkill for you. And if 
if you hate charging stuff, the battery life might feel a little bit short compared to passive trackers. But for folks like me who geek out on the biometrics and I want actionable insight, not just the numbers, this ring is pretty awesome. The Ultra Human Ring Air surprised me. The nuanced sleep tracking was cool. The recovery coaching is nice. The personalized nudges via notifications do make it stand out and remind me to actually do things throughout the day that help my health. If you have been considering something like the Aura Ring, then this is a very strong contender. And honestly, it is more comfortable and it's cheaper because there's no subscription. I love that part. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye y'all. Ah, oh, you're so cute. Where are you going? Where? Oh, no, don't step on the laptop. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, okay. That works. So chances are, ah. let's go ahead and dive into it. <laughs>